Hello everyone, so it's time for a new reading vlog and today it's going to be a vlog of reading romance books. So basically something really sad happened yesterday and I was just like, you know what, I need to feel better, I need some intense self-care and romance books are the best thing for that. So this is going to be a very low-key vlog. I'm not sure how much I'm going to read in this. So I already read a romance book yesterday, so I'm going to quickly talk about that. So I read Heat Waves by, I think it was Kema B. This is basically a summer adult romance novella and actually um, Sil from the Book Voyagers recommended this. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Sil because she's amazing. She tweets a lot about romance books. Like every single day there's a new book that she's talking about. And she also has a YouTube channel now. So I'm going to have it linked down below along with her Twitter. So definitely check her out. If you are a romance reader, Sil is the perfect person to follow. Um, I have actually read quite a few books that she's recommended. And so far I enjoyed all of them. So yes. I ended up giving this 3.5 stars. It's a really short romance book and I feel like in a lot of ways it's not perfect but it was exactly what I needed. It's definitely under 100 pages. I don't know if I want to tell you anything really about the plot because it's so short that I'm just like you should just read it, you know? It's just a summer romance novella, like a summer fling. That could turn into something more. It was extremely easy uh, to read and super quick to get through, and it was really steamy, and yeah, I didn't fully love the writing in it. Some places felt kind of info dumpy. The couple kind of runs into each other at the beginning of the book, and then the first 50%, uh, they don't see each other, and then like at the halfway point they run into each other again and then shit happens so I feel like if it started a little bit earlier it would have been even better but again it was just super chill and really nice and I needed something easy yesterday <laughs> like I didn't want to read 300 pages of anything and um this was just super easy to process like I said and it was great yeah but it is super short and so there's not really a lot of time for development and it's kind of like they have fun and it could be more and you know, but it's not like a full on relationship that blooms and like develops through the whole way, if that makes sense. So just be aware of that. If you don't like reading short things, this is probably not for you, but if you want something super short, definitely check it out. And once I decide what book to start next, I'm gonna update you. <laughs> so it's the next day I've been kind of flopping at vlogging <laughs> but I'm just trying to take things easy and it's fine so I do have some updates yesterday I decided to read another novella which was coffee in the noon by Harley Ray, and I kind of randomly found this book and it was available on Kindle Unlimited so is heat waves actually I didn't mention that earlier and I ended up giving it three stars. This one was even shorter. It was super short. It was more like a short story and not a novella. And it had like, I think it had under 50 pages. And um, I'm not sure what to say about the plot. It's just set in a small town. And it's just about two people who run into each other and shit happens. And there were some things that I really liked about it and there were some things that I felt kind of weird about and I was just like, um. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to tell you more about the plot because again, in this case it's even shorter and I don't want to spoil the entire thing, you know? And so it's kind of completely insta -lovey. In a really intense way, I feel like insta -love can kind of work for me sometimes. But it depends a lot on how it's done. Sometimes it can be like insta-like or like an instant connection, which I feel like is really believable, but in this book it just felt like 
super intense emotions happened in literally under 50 pages. I liked the writing. It wasn't complete for me and I felt like it was super rushed and the conflict in the book was felt like too big of a thing for too short of an amount of time. I feel like you can write something super great even under 50 pages, but I feel like just the whole insta love and all of that intensity were just like not the best idea for such a short thing. But it was super short to read, like I read it in, you know, under half an hour and so if you have Kindle Unlimited and you want to read something super super short, then I would still recommend you check it out. I've been so indecisive because just I have so many romance books to read and I'm so excited for all of them and I also really want to read um, Oops by Alexandra Warren. I started it and I really want to read it. The only issue is I have that on my phone and I'm kind of sick of reading on my phone because I've been reading a lot of things on my phone and I feel like I need breaks from it but at the same time I want to read it so I'm conflicted and I don't really know much about it. It's just um, the heroine in the book gets pregnant and um, that's basically all I know about it but I actually read a book by Alexander Warren in the past, it was Love Unsolicited, I'm pretty sure is the title, and I loved that one. If you like romance, I really recommend you to, to check it out. I'm not going to get too deep into that, but it's an amazing book and it was so much fun. And so since then, I've been really wanting to read another book by Alexander Warren. So I really want to read this, plus a spinoff novella to this just came out. So I was just like, you know what, I'm going to read it. And Syl, whom I mentioned earlier... Uh, tweeted a lot about it and she was she was saying that it's amazing and everyone should read it so I was like okay <laughs> so yes also one last thing I was watching the new season of Lucifer earlier and uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about that really because I never know how to talk about like TV shows or movies it's certainly very interesting so far I I'm not loving it. I think the plot is a little bit extreme, but I like the characters. It's entertaining. So <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say about that. Tell me if you like like Lucifer or what your favorite show is. It's finally time for an update. I had to go to my aunt's house for reasons that I'm not gonna get into because they're boring, but I read two books since I last updated you. I read them there and like I could have filmed, but it just was not ideal, so I just wanted to quickly talk about them before I get into another book. I know that this vlog has been so freaking chaotic, and I'm really sorry about that, but hopefully it's enjoyable anyways, and yeah. So, uh, one of the two books that I read was, well, actually both of them were, like, by the same author and kind of, like, companion novels. So, that was Oops and Woe by Alexandra Warren. So, I mentioned them earlier. Oops is basically about um, Cameron and Maverick who um, just they kind of are co-workers and they just knew each other for a while from work and they kind of flirted sometimes and they like had a lot of banter and Cameron was like I don't want to be with you you're just really arrogant and you know like no thanks like you're hot but that's not happening and then they hook up and guess what? <laughs> um, Cameron gets pregnant. That's not a spoiler. That is literally kind of like the point of the book, the whole premise. I was kind of hesitant to go into this book for a while because like I've known about it uh, since it came out and I was just like, I don't know. I'm not sure if I like pregnancy in books, but I loved the couple in this book so much. I loved their chemistry and I was kind of worried if like the baby would be... Um, you know, the only reason why they kind of stay together, because that sometimes happens in books. But I feel like that was dealt with really well in this book. Like, the baby didn't actually end up being a big problem when it comes to their relationship. And, like, the way it developed was kind of not really about the baby. Like, of course, it played a part in it, but I feel like it played a small part in them deciding if they actually want to be together and if they're in love and stuff like that. So, yeah, I ended up giving it four stars. It was super, super fun. And... The main thing that I care about in romance books is the two main characters and their dynamic 
and I loved that in this book so yeah <laughs> and the other book whoa is it actually follows the sister of Maverick who is the hero of uh, oops and this one is actually a novella so it's like a hundred pages so it's even quicker to read and both of them are actually available on Kindle Unlimited so that's great if you know that's a subscription that you have. It's basically about her and this um, DJ who is one of her brother's best friends and so the main character Molly she um, usually doesn't date her brother's friends because she just doesn't like them and she doesn't like that but her assistant kind of sets them both up on a date and you know sparks fly they have a connection and it's great the male character in the book whose name is walt he since he's a dj he has to like travel around a lot so that kind of gets in the way of their relationship and molly is a lot focused on work she has her own business and so she just wants to prioritize that and so um they have to figure all of that out it was so freaking fun again i really liked the dynamic between them um i feel like you can definitely read them independently if you just want to read this one but i would recommend both of them because they are both super super fun and yeah <laughs> so i feel like i don't want to end the vlog here just yet i'm not sure what i'm going to read next Hello everyone, so it's time for another update. I made myself some tea and I decided to read Heartstopper by Alice Osman. So this is actually a reread. I am sick of ebooks. <laughs> I have been reading so many and I love ebooks, you know, I don't have a good access to physical books, and so ebooks are a freaking godsend, but I need to take breaks from it, and I haven't been taking breaks from ebooks because I've been just mainly in the mood for romance, and I don't really have a lot of, or any, romance books physically, so this is a YA, but it is the most cute, sweetest thing that I've ever read. And it's a graphic novel, so I know that I'll read it in less than an hour, and I feel like it's exactly what I need. I might read this one and volume two, because volume two is my favorite, and um, again, it's going to be quick to get through, so it's going to be like my fill of physical reading, and yes, I'm super excited. I am already on page 93. I am this far into the book, so not super far, but I've been reading for like... 10 minutes or 15 maybe and I'm freaking loving it. One thing that I forgot is that Charlie at the beginning of a book is actually in a really bad relationship or like it's not a relationship exactly but yeah and so I kind of forgot about that so you know just be warned that it does deal with that a little bit at the beginning of the book but fortunately he gets out of that pretty quickly and this book is a YA contemporary about Nick and Charlie who in this book they mainly become friends and it's kind of it starts turning into more even though the series deals with some kind of like more difficult topics it gives me so much serotonin so much cuteness and like literally every time I talk about it or anyone else talks about it everyone always says cute like a million times describing it and that's literally the only word that just you need to know about this book. So I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna fly through the rest of it and I'll update you later. It's time for another update. I finished volume one and I loved it so much. Like seriously I feel like there's not a lot of new things that I could say about it but just this series is filled with so much joy and it's such a comforting wholesome read i immediately jumped into volume two so i've read a little bit over 100 pages so far i'm fucking loving it like i mentioned i think volume two is my favorite it's just i feel like so far it's the sweetest one out of the three of them and the main themes of it are just that nick and charlie 
are trying to kind of start a relationship. Along with that, Nick is trying to figure out his sexuality, and so those are, I feel like, the main parts of the book, and there's just so much, like, cute, cuddly, super soft, fluffy moments with the two of them, and it just, it gives me life, and so, yeah, I think I'm gonna end on this volume for now. Hello, everyone. So, many days later, still in my armchair, <laughs> I wanted to just wrap up the vlog. I finished reading volume two of Heartstopper and I loved it. I mean, there's not really much new that I could add, but I was smiling the entire way through the book and it was just so beautiful. So I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Leave this emoji in the comments down below if you got this far in the video. Thank you so much for watching. I know I looked completely dead in like especially the first half of the video. I'm fine. <laughs> Even though I look really rough right now, I'm fine. Subscribe for more bookish videos. A lot of stuff is coming so stay tuned and yeah have a great day and I'm gonna see you soon in another video. Bye!